one in Mercy, that was a great thing. Actually, you can have the ability to um, send out a, a, a someone that you love. Before you submit a card to the team, four out of five cards to rest have been at home. This means that someone you know could be, could be a possible victim of a card to rest. After learning how to come CPR, I can see how important it is to know a skill that could potentially save another person's life. It is very important to Tennessee Guard because it could ultimately decide the fate of someone who is subject to cardiac arrest. And throughout this presentation, um, I'll be talking about how um, not only CPR um, um, can affect a, a victim of cardiac arrest, but I'll be explaining how um, not only CPR can increase the chances of a victim survival, and I'll be telling you why we shouldn't CPR. Um, I will not talk about how not only CPR can affect the cardiac arrest. So, not only how to properly perform CPR can have a ne um, negative effect on a victim of cardiac arrest. According to the American Heart Association, um, um, cardiac arrest is the abrupt loss of heart function in a person who may or may not have died of heart disease. This, this loss of heart function can be very fatal and it, it, it can um, 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 have a it needs a um, 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 immediate action, and um, if someone I is um, suffering from suffering cardiac arrest, um, <coughs> a person will usually um, call nine one one and and wait for um, help to arrive. But what most people don't know is that if, 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 if the victim refuses the help um, right away, then the victim um, um, be begins to um, According to an article by Captain Northridge, it takes the brain six minutes to die once oxygen is, is cut off. This means that the victim has a um, six minute window um, for a bystander to, to, um, to help them um, by performing CPR. If, if someone doesn't know how to perform CPR or is too afraid to do so, then it causes the victim to, to suffer. Not many people understand how important it is to know CPR and how it can ultimately uh, affect the outcome of the victim. The victim of cardiac arrest is more than likely to, to be um, someone that is known to, to a bystander. Um, it is very important for them to know what to do in an emergency. According to the American Heart Association, if caught on two minutes to CPR in an emergency, like to say it is likely to be um, um, is likely to be to, to be um, to come on at home, a child, a spouse, a parent, or a friend. Not knowing what to do um, to help any of these people um, could could lead to a great outcome. I'm going to tell you how an CPR can increase the chances of victim survival. More people were to know how to perform CPR, and they would be able to help more people who suffer from cardiac arrest, including their own loved ones. According to an article by Chicago CPR, um, if, if every American takes a class uh, and gets a CPR certification, then thousands of deaths could be um, prevented each year. So um, just by um, having more people learn how to perform CPR, it, um, it could um, Increase the amount of lives that, um, that are saved each year because of cardiac arrest. Also, once you know CPR, you can make a difference in the life of any victim of cardiac arrest. According to the Mental Heart Association, um, effective bystander CPR is provided immediately after sudden cardiac arrest can double or triple a victim's chance of survival. But only 32% of, of cardiac arrest victims get CPR from the bystander. Um, so, um, and on CPR, uh, <coughs> um, um, the amount of, of lives that can be saved um, in, um, in these emergencies. I want to explain why you should learn CPR. So, um, CPR it, um, and being, a, being, a, being able to um, perform it, it is a very useful skill. <coughs> Knowing CPR is useful because not only do you have the ability to save the life of, of someone that you know in an emergency, you also have the ability to increase the rate of survival of cardiac arrest victims. According to the American Health Association, um, less than 8% of people who suffer from cardiac arrest outside of the hospital survive. This percentage of survivors can be increased if the hospital were to learn how to perform CPR. Um, um, CPR is also useful because you can, you can use it outside of cardiac arrest situations. Um, according to an article by Chicago CPR, um, when you know CPR, um, um, you tell people who are um, drowning, suffocating, Overdosing on drugs or people who are being um, um, electrocuted. Knowing 
Francisco, um, let's apply it to um, different situations, and it also allows you to help like different people who, who, who need assistance um, and prevent them from a possible death. In conclusion, I think care is a very important and useful skill that can have a positive impact on on, on, on the victim during an emergency. It's very important to take care because it can ultimately decide the fate of someone who's suffering from cardiac arrest. Throughout the speech, <coughs> I talked to you about how non emergency CPRs can um, affect the victim of cardiac arrest. I explained how how um, non emergency CPRs can increase <coughs> the chances of the victim's survival, and I told you why you should use CPR. Knowing this approach is simple and get highly physical skills 